We think it's really important here that kids develop a voice and understand that they really can make changes to how schools are run, how businesses are run, how our society is run. We really want them to know that their voice makes a difference. I'm Katie Mann, the principal of Thurgood Marshall Elementary, and we have a monthly parent coffee where um, parents come in and I try to make a topic that people have been asking about or interested in. We've had a lot of questions from parents about nutrition services and particularly from parents who are vegetarian or have other dietary restrictions. And um, there was some concern earlier in the year because the ordering seemed like we weren't having as much of things as we needed. And I spoke to Erin about it and um, that sort of led to us wanting to get the kids involved in choosing menu items and, and kind of giving their voice. I met with some students at Thurgood Marshall and also at Robert Eagle Staff and both groups, the number one dish they wanted was sushi. They just love sushi. So we're gonna be the first district to have that on the menu for students. Uh, we're gonna give it a pilot try. Uh, it, it's not gonna be a complete meal. Again, I look at the, the big picture. So if we have some, just say orange chicken with some noodles and then they get like a piece of sushi as a treat, you know, just as a complete composed dish. So having parents here, you know, parents also have a voice and a say in how things happen in a district. And when they advocate for things that are healthy for kids, our system works better. So it's great for them to get to see. And also sometimes we have sort of preconceived notions of, oh, school lunch is terrible. And when we know that changes are happening, it's great for parents to see that. And, and the parents that were here today will leave talking to other parents about it. So even though we had a smaller group today, that the word will spread. We do plan on doing more interaction, as much interaction with students and families um, as possible. I mean, that's our base. I mean, if we really want to make a difference on the way kids eat and have an impact on their lives, so we can't just stay confined to the school. We have to actually reach out to the communities. We have to help educate the families. You often hear adults say, oh, it doesn't even matter, I'm just one person. We don't want our kids to be leaving with that kind of idea. We want them to have the notion that it really does make a difference. So our kids have spread the word. They, um, we wrote about it in the Pup Press, our newsletter that goes home. They saw it, they were very excited. Superintendent Juno came and visited a couple weeks ago and it was the day that Pup Press came out. So they were telling her about it and um, they're spreading the word to their classmates. We got you guys sushi. <laughs> they're thrilled.